guys, I'm Zane Van Wyk, and this is your Week in Review. Let's get started. So, hello guys. Um, so, I've this past weekend was Comic Con, and I've done videos on most of the trailers that came out there. Um, but I wanted to talk about something that was non-Comic Con related, and it's the Days of Future Past Rogue um, cut. Um, now, I actually have purchased this, um, and I, I, I'm telling you, it's worth the buy. Um, it's worth having two different versions of the movie, because in this version, you get a lot more scenes that I actually think really do help the story. Um, I mean, you, you get the aspects with Rogue, and, I mean, you don't see Rogue, you know, she's not like a, like a whole, like, amount of, of the movie. But, um, you get other scenes between, you know, other characters, and you get re relationships, um, shown that weren't shown in the, um, the first original cut of Days of Future Past. Um, so, yeah, I mean... I, I would totally recommend you guys um, get this DVD um, or Blu-ray, whatever you want, because um, it, it really it really is a lot more enjoyable. I actually kind of liked it more than the original cut itself. Um, so you know, I would definitely recommend getting the Rogue cut of Days of Future Past. Um, if you don't want to actually buy it, you know and Sure, you could probably red box it or something. Um, but yeah, so that actually came out today. So, I mean, it's in stores. In the store I went to, um, they're actually almost out of the DVDs. So if that doesn't tell you how popular it is among people, I don't know what else will. Um, so that's, that's kind of my thoughts on the Rogue cut of Days of Future Past. Um, for more videos of the Week in Review, just check this channel, and I will see you guys later.